here we are with another this or that. This is Megan at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum, and this week we're going to be talking about the Brother BQ3100 versus the Janome Continental M7. Both of these machines are machines that appeal mostly to quilters because they have this nice big open throat space. Now the Janome M er, Continental M7 does have a little bit more. It's about 13 inches from the base of the arm to the needle versus this one is more about 11 or 12 inches. But they both do have a lot of features jam packed into them that we all absolutely love. So why not nerd out about them? One thing that I really like about both of these machines is that they both do have an independent motorized bobbin winder. So when you're sewing along and realizing that you're getting empty or want a different color for the back, you can continue sewing while it's winding your bobbin. Cause I am impatient and a lot of times I'll sit there going, as I wait for the bobbin to wind, I don't have to do that with either one of these machines. I think that's great. They both also have automatic needle threaders, which where can you go wrong with an automatic needle threader? They're fantastic, which is really, really nice. So let's talk about some of the things that are on the Continental M7 first. Some of the features that I really like about this machine are gonna be some of the things that are on the screen. So on the screen in the corner, there's a little QR code. If you pull up your phone and scan that QR code in the AccuAssist app, it will kind of help you um, figure out how to manipulate around that screen, what it's telling you, what steps you need to go through. It's a really nice addition to have. I also like the fact that you can adjust stitches on the screen, or you can also use the dials on the front of the machine to do that as well. Janome also includes oodles and oodles and oodles of accessories. So they do have tons of different presser feet for this machine and the um, walking foot, which is incredible for this machine, is the AccuFeed. And they have both the wide and the narrow version, so you can use the dual feed on zippers, which is a huge thing for me. Now, one thing about the Continental M7 that I do like to point out is the fact that it is more of a flatbed machine. It does not have a free arm that you can take off so that you have an easier time doing sleeves. However, it has a ball bearing motor and has a lot of power behind it, so that really helps with that. It does come with an extension table with a little drawer to put all your accessories in. And the needle plate comes off in one motion, which is really, really cool. So there's a little overview on the Continental M7. Let's talk about the Brother BQ3100. So this machine has a laser built into it where you can adjust the laser to give you your seam allowance or a guide, depending on how wide your crosshatch quilting is gonna be. It does also come with Brother's Compact Move It foot, which is their version of a walking foot where the rubber never leaves the fabric. So it also is going to do a fabulous job on those thicker fabrics. However, you cannot use the move it foot for zippers. So not a big deal, but it is something to think about. The needle plate comes off like every standard brother machine. Both of them are top loading bobbins, so that's kind of nice. And it does come with this nice accessory thread stand. Not all brothers come with that. And if you don't need it, you can just put it away. Not a big deal. Um, I love the fact that you do have four places to put your thread on the Brother BQ3100. So if you've got your big cones and then you're gonna switch over to all your fabrics for a little bit, you can put one here. You have a different bobbin thread, you can put one here. You have lots of different options where you've only got these two here. With that, Brother has tons and tons of decorative stitches. So does Janome. They both are going to be awesome machines where you can push your creative, uh, creativity to the limit. I highly recommend coming in and sewing on both of them because they both feel fantastic and the lighting is incredible. That's always a big thing for all of us sewists. We like to see what we're doing. Um, as always, I thank you for joining me for this, this or that video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you next week.